Hi everyone. By the end of this video, you should be able to calculate a profit margin, uh, express it as a percent, and kind of use that information to think about what is most profitable, profitable and make business decisions. So I'm going to give you a scenario and then uh, we'll learn the skills to go along with it. So in this case, um, I want to look specifically at the hoodie sweatshirts and the zip-up sweatshirts uh, that we have in the Wildkit store. Uh, so what we have here is our Wildcat store price log. So this is what we're selling the hoodies and full zips for. And this is the invoice um, that gives us the information about what we purchased. So the first one's the hoodie, the second one's the full zip. Remember our rate is our cost per unit. Cost per unit, which when I say per unit, I mean cost per item, per one sweatshirt. Okay, so let's fill out this chart below so we can uh, calculate profit and then learn what a profit margin is. So this is just a review, um, but let's write this all out. So for a hoodie, what is our selling price? Here, selling price is what we're selling to the customers for, and the hoodie is $30, whereas the full zip is $40. Okay, they're a little bit nicer. I have some embroidery, that's why they cost more. Um, so our cost is how much we paid for each hoodie. Um, we'll do cost per unit, I should say. Cost per unit. And our cost per unit of the hoodie is $17. And for cost per unit, I forgot to put that in there, for the full zip uh, is 30 So you can see why we price those differently because they cost us different things. Okay, so now uh, just a review in terms of calculating our profit. Our profit is the money we get to keep after we pay back the cost. Okay, so we have to pay back that $17 from that $30 we make in theory. So we'll see how much profit we make on one item. Uh, just as a reminder of our official profit formula, profit equals revenue minus costs, where revenue is the money we bring in and cost is what we pay for it. Okay, so if I subtract 30 minus 17, our profit per hoodie is $13. 40 minus 30 on the full zip, our profit is $10. So we bring in 40, we pay back the 30, we get to keep 10. Okay, so the goal is to be able to analyze um, which one's gonna be more profitable. And if you look at just the numbers, um, in terms of what our profit we keep is, our hoodie we're keeping $13, and our full zip we're keeping 10. So it seems like the hoodie might be more profitable. Um, but it's hard to compare because we charge $40 for the full zip and we charge $30 for the hoodie. Um, so there's something called a profit margin, which you see right here, profit margin, that we can calculate to kind of even the playing field of how we're comparing these things. So if you want the formal definition of a profit margin, this financial website will define profit margin um, as a percentage and specifically, a percentage of the revenue that's remaining after all costs. We'll leave it at that. So when it says a percentage of revenue, it's a percentage of how much money you're bringing in. And it's the percentage after you've paid back the cost. So uh, that's kind of a formal definition, but let's define this in our own words. In my own words, a profit margin is a percent of the money you keep. When I say the money you keep, that's called profit. Compared to the money you bring in. Okay, a profit margin is the percent of the money you keep compared to the money you bring in. So it's really a percent of the profit to the revenue. Okay, in order to understand profit margins, we need to understand how to calculate percents. Okay, so I'm going to kind of pause the profit margin for a second and talk about percents here. So in general, um, how you calculate a percent is you first write um, whatever the relationship is as a fraction. I'm going to give you an example outside of business for a second. So often we talk about percentages when we talk about like winning, like the lottery or a sports game or something of those sorts. So let's say I want the percentage of winning the basketball game or winning a basketball game.
Okay, when you play basketball, there are uh, usually, two, not usually, there are always two teams. So the chance that one of them will win is a 50% chance or half. Okay, the reason is uh, when you calculate a percent, you always calculate it by what you want in the top of the fraction, which is called the numerator, over the total in the denominator or the bottom of the fraction. So if you're talking about winning a basketball game, um, what you want is a winning team. And how many teams can you choose to win a basketball game? There would only be one. And the total teams there are to play would be two. Okay, so as a fraction, the chances of you winning a basketball game are one half. Okay, now if you want to convert from a fraction to a decimal, uh, step two says you basically just divide the fraction and you'll be able to convert it. Um, some of these you might know off the top of your head, like you might know a half is 50%, but some of you might not, so that's why we want to convert it. Okay, just to show you what that looks like, um, here's a calculator. If I want to convert from a fraction to a decimal, uh, a fraction bar just means division. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to divide. Um, so I would take 1 and divide it by 2, and you would get 0.5. Uh, so 1 divided by 2 is 0.5. Okay, now this itself is not the percent. Uh, there's actually step 3 that I would like you to write in. Okay, and step 3 is to convert your decimal, that's a decimal, 2%. And the way you do that is by multiplying by 100. Okay, so our example was uh, I had a half, which I divided to get was 0 0.5. And to convert that to a percent, you'd multiply that by 100. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and you get that it's 50 or 50%. 50 okay, I wanted to choose a, a decimal that you're probably familiar with um, so that you would, you would believe when I say it's 50%, that's how you get it and they match up. So half is 0.5 when you divide it, multiply by 100 is 50%. Okay, that is a fraction uh, into a percent in a nutshell. Let's apply this to profit margins. Okay, so if I'm calculating profit margin, I'm gonna start by writing it as a fraction as I did below. Okay, so remember a fraction is what you quote unquote want over the total. And a profit margin again is a percent or a ratio of the money you get to keep compared to the money you bring in. So what we want is the money we're keeping. So money, I mean we're gonna write this down. Money you keep. And the total is how much money you bring in. which we know better words for these, so I'm even gonna write that one more time. Money you keep is called your profit, and money you bring in is called your revenue. Okay, so to give you the example of the hoodie, the profit is $13, and the revenue is 30. So what this fraction here says is we're keeping 13 out of $30. Okay, if we're looking at the full zip, our profit is $10. We're keeping 10, and this fraction bar means out of $40. Okay, so this is what we want. This is what we get to keep. That's what we want as a business out of the total money we're bringing in. So profit over revenue is our profit margin. Okay, now it's best to express profit margins as a percent, as these fractions are, they have different denominators, so it's hard to compare. So the first one, we're keeping 13 out of 30. Okay, which will give me a, a decimal, is 0.43. To convert that to a percent, you multiply by 100. Oops, that's 1,000, let's try that again. 13 out of 30, 0.4, can't get this right. One more time, 13 out of 30, multiply by 100. Our percentage is 43.3333, or we'll just say 43.33%. I'm gonna write that in another color. 43%. I'm actually gonna just round to 43. Okay, so what that means is that we're keeping 43% of the money we bring in. If we're looking at the other item, we're keeping 10 out of $40, which is 0.25 multiplied by 100. That's 25%. 
okay, which means we're keeping 25% of the money we bring in. Okay, so with that said, we can kind of use these numbers to talk about our profit a little bit more clearly. So instead of saying my profit is $13, my profit is 10, and those being different items, being it hard to compare, I can say I'm keeping 43% of what I bring in, or I'm keeping 25% of what I bring in on the full zip, which that 43% means you're keeping more of the money you bring in, which means it's gonna make your business more money, which means you might wanna order more, you might wanna sell more, uh, you might wanna really try to get people to buy the hoodie over the full zip, okay? Or it might mean we don't order the full zip anymore and we just order hoodies. Now, the hard thing um, is to think about is you can't always just rely on the numbers. You also want to think about, you know, good customer service, what customers want, um, what customers are buying more of. Because obviously, even if we make 43% of the hoodies, if nobody buys any of them, we never make that profit. Um, so there's lots of things to think about, but this just helps give you numbers to describe your items. Okay, so a lot was going on here. Uh, we talked about calculating profit. We talked about how to calculate percents, which will come in handy for a lot of things this year. Um, and then applied that to calculating a profit margin, which by now you should be able to do. Okay, if you have any questions, please ask. Otherwise, um, good luck calculating your profit margins.